Hey, my name is Sean McCormick, and I'm the founder of Executive Function Specialists, an online coaching business that helps middle, high school, and college students feel better organized. My channel is focused on teaching organizational strategies and hacks that will help you manage technology more effectively. So today you're going to learn how to use templates in Gmail. Templates is an amazing feature in Gmail where you can take emails that you send over and over and make it a template that you don't have to retype up each time. The first step is you go up to this gear button in the upper right corner. Click on that and then go to see all settings. Once you get to this page, you're going to go to advanced. When you're at advanced, then you're going to enable templates. Normally it would be disabled. I've already enabled it. So make sure once you enable it, you scroll down and you click save. You'll have to do that for it to work. Once you've done this, then you can go back to your emails and you can click compose. Now, if you're like me and you're coaching students or you're helping them get organized for school, you might be sending the same email over and over to teachers with your clients. So what I do is I share a template with my clients, which can be found on my website here. If you go to communication templates, these are emails that I've found I send for students or help them send to their teachers over and over. So for example, when a student has missing assignments, they say, hi teacher, I noticed that my grade in your class is currently a blank. I wanna send a friendly reminder that I turned in name of assignment. I'm also attaching it to this email in case it got lost. I also noticed that my grade on the following assignments are blank, blank. Is there anything I can do to make up for these assignments as my goal for this semester is to earn a blank in your class. So this is one very powerful email that I have students send all the time. I'm going to copy this email and I'm going to go back to here. And I'm going to paste it in here and then maybe under the subject it could be meeting my goal in your class. So once you have the email within the, the email body, you're going to click on these three dots at the bottom and then go to templates save draft as template, save as a new template, meeting my goal in your class. It automatically takes the subject of the email and puts it as the template name. So save that. Then the student can put their, their teacher's name into the, into the to area and send it off. Now, that student might be sending that same email to multiple teachers, so they can just go back to these three dots, templates, and then go meeting my goal in your class and it's right there and all they have to do is change the teacher's name. If you're a business person or someone working with clients and you send the same onboarding packet to them each time, this might be a great way to shorten up that process by creating a template like this. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to Sean at efspecialist.com or visit efspecialist.com where you can find these templates and I hope this helps.